Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take it to Marauders Gun Runner 1 at 12 scale series, number one complete set. And they're all in this bag. And basically, what we have is four rifles and one pistols, and then a few accessories that go with it. I know a lot of you may already have the Gun Runner stuff. I've never had it. Uh, I just picked up the uh, Mutton Junkyard little set with the dog bones and the MAC-10, but I wanted to pick some up. Uh, very inexpensive, these are not 3D printed. Uh, these are plastic mold inject inject injected. Uh, so they are straight. Uh, they're gonna be a harder, more rigid plastic. Again, I've never messed around with them. Some people have said they seem to be a little bit small. Uh, for 112 scale, it's hard to say because not all, one six, not all six inch figures are created equally as in a perfect 112 scale but anyway we're going to take a look at this uh see how they look on some figures see if they fit right and see if you're willing to spend 12 dollars for this set of a bunch of different weapons and accessories that come with the weapons so anyway let's get into it but before we do if you like this type of content if you like the gi joe stuff that i give you and military stuff like gridiron and now marauder stuff take a second hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that bell notification so you're notified every time i do drop a video now let's take a look. All right, so I was gonna open these all up, but it looks like the bags come with all the accessories for each rifle. Uh, Roman seems to agree. So here we have, this is the sniper rifle. Uh, again, all black, nice detail to it. Uh, what I can actually see is there's a lot of holes here. So you can use it for different scopes, different stuff that goes on the rail systems, different bipods. So we'll kind of start here and it is kind of hard to see, but there you have your bipod. You have your, what I believe is a suppressor and it actually goes all the way on. So if you want your rifle to look like this, you can, or you can plug this all the way in and it does stay on. It's the same as the Mac 10. You have the magazine, which I do believe only goes one way, but again, I tend to drop these. I feel like anytime I get on camera, I end up dropping things like crazy. So there's your magazine. And then here you have your scope. And as you can tell, there's like three different spots that you can drop this thing. And we wanna make sure we get it in. I think this is the right direction. So there you go with the scope, and it looks pretty nice. Can't really complain. Now, there are no ports for blast effects. So if you are big into doing blast effects, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. But there is your sniper rifle. Maybe this can replace something for, like, shooter, or if you really do not like low lights, maybe you can do something there. All right, the next bag that we have here is... It looks like some sort of m4 all right so there you go there's nothing on the top but as you can see you can put stuff up up on top of it i'm assuming maybe there's other accessories in this baggie that will be universal along across the board so you do have one magazine here that feels kind of loose oh maybe it goes it looks like it goes only one way. They can fit in both ways, but it must be a little bit tighter there because it seemed to go up and stay up pretty well. And then what we have here is, well, that's a really good question, what that goes to. <laughs> I have no idea. As I'm trying to look, it looks like it's, it's a rectangle here where it should kind of peg in. I don't see where that goes, so I guess we're going to leave that down and we're going to look for that a little bit later. So here is your uh, AR. Again, not bad. Some nice little detail to it. You really don't even notice the holes because it's black. Again, the tip of the gun looks really nice. We're going to look and find out what that is in a short bit. Here we have the saw machine gun. Open these things up. So, so 
So we have the saw. So here's our first bit of paint. <laughs> they had a little bit of paint right there. Uh, not sure why they'd only put the paint right there. It does have the uh, the weird stock. I don't want to say weird stock, but the type of stock you normally get. Here you have a an ammo canister painted green, and then the bullets actually look really nice, uh, painted to look like bullets. And again, this is just going to plug directly into here. So there you go with that. And again, you can see there is a complete rail system made for it. And what we have here is a very wide bipod that we can plug onto here. Now, again, as small as it is, it's even smaller in person. But I think these are going to be really nice for shots and stuff. So there you go. There's your saw submachine gun. Not submachine gun. I'm sorry. Before someone yells at me, your saw machine gun. All right. Here is another AR style rifle. And if I'm getting the rifles mess, messed up, if one's not an AR, please feel free to mention in the comments what they are. Uh, again, I will mention I'm not a weapons aficionado. I know people tell me uh, I need to learn my stuff before I review, but I'm reviewing toys, not weapons. So here we go with this one. We have one magazine that clearly only goes one way. So this thing's going to plug right on in there. And I think that looks really nice. Again, you can see the holes. So you can do a multitude of different things that you want to uh, spruce up your weapon. And I will be interested to see how these fit. As I said, I have been told that they run a little small. And then we have a handgun in here. Again, this is why I normally have everything out. But again, I kind of want to show you guys everything comes baggied up. All right. So here we have... The pistol, which I think looks really nice. Again, all black, but looks nice. No, no pour for blast effects. I don't think you're going to need to put a suppressor on it or anything. But looking at all this stuff here, wow. I, so, here's the handle. That definitely works on one of the, uh, one of the rifles. Or you can put it on any of the rifles. This here looks like a small pair of binoculars. Um, maybe it's a camera. I don't know. I guess it's your imagination. I'm not sure what this is. I can tell you this is probably all real world though. And it looks like we have a, set, a second one. But this one's just a little bit different. And again, they're going to plug right in. Sorry, I was trying to avoid that. Looks like maybe we have another scope here. Or I'm not sure what a, I'm gonna have to go through all this and see exactly. Is this uh, this might actually be a flashlight? And it might actually be a flashlight looking at it. And then you have a scope. That is a scope, right? Well, we're gonna guess it's a scope of some sort. <laughs> So there you have everything. I'm still interested to figure out what this is. So that's what I'm going to figure out what this is. I'm going to pose each figure with this. Again, I'm not going to go into how hard it is to pose the figures. Uh, just because I do that for my reviews of the actual figures. I don't think you really want to see that. Alright, so quickly. This is a different magazine. And if I am correct, I believe this is Hit and Run's... Uh, M4 that he uses. Uh, so if you are customizing uh, Hit and Run, I believe this is a gun that's actually made for him. Or you can use, again, the normal style magazine or something that you know seems more uh, in line of what we've seen before. So I didn't put anything on it, but as you can kind of see, I loaded this one out here. You got a handle here. Uh, you got what I do believe is a scope, and I believe the flashlight. I still haven't figured out what these are. Again, if somebody knows, please tell me. Uh, as I have no clue. Bees Battleground, what is this? You know what it is. You are in the military. All right. Let's load these things up. 
Okay, so you're going to be glad that I didn't spend all the time making you guys watch me um, get these weapons in it. So, well, quickly we'll take a look at Hawk here. I put the pistol in Hawk's hand. Now, I definitely think this thing looks kind of small. Now, if you want to use it like a Rakondo's gun, I think it's going to work really well. Here is one of the guns, one of the pistols that Hawk comes with, and you can kind of see the size difference in his hand. Uh, it doesn't look bad, but again, it is kind of small, so I think I might be replacing it with this bad boy here, who's already customized or kit bashed. I want to say customized. Uh, the saw, in my opinion, it definitely seems kind of small. Again, I put it on Roadblock, and if you don't know, Roadblock is on the biggest buck other than Serpentor that the Classified team is making right now. So, it doesn't look bad. One of my biggest gripes about these weapons so far is lots of accessories, which is good. But they just kind of peg in, and it's a really small hole, and it's really easy for it to fall out. And yes, that's what she said. And that is what Roman said back there. So you can kind of see how this goes. Again, it doesn't look bad. Uh, I'm a big stickler for how things are going to look aesthetically because I'm normally posing them. Uh, here is the hit and run rifle, I do believe. I guess I put one of the accessories on here. I don't even know if it's on the right way. But again, I'm not a weapons guy. I think this actually looks pretty good. It is small, but if I remember correctly, hit and runs... M4 is supposed to be fairly small because he's doing hit and runs. Uh, smaller rifles are used, from what I understand, in close corridors. You don't want a long M16 or something like that where you can't maneuver it in halls. Here we have the sniper rifle, which I think is probably the best looking. My biggest gripe is that the scope doesn't really fit on there properly. Uh, it has three pegs there, but I had to move it because they all don't fit in place. And if I haven't moved too far back, it's really like right on his face or in his face. I think this rifle probably looks the best. Is it scaled a little small? I'm not positive. But I think when it comes to an action figure, I think it looks really nice. And then the final weapon that I do have here is on the new Diver. I like this. Uh, I like having the handle. It just gives it a new, more modern feel. Again, I believe that is a scope, so I left it there, and I believe that is a flashlight. So, kind of put all that together, and I think it looks nice. Again, nice weapons. $12 for, the, all, for this whole pack. So, again, I ordered, you know, these weapons, and then I ordered the Mac 10 for Mutt and Junkyard, along with three little biscuits. For $2, so the whole thing came out to be $17. So it's not a bad price for everything. But again, um, I don't know. It's up to you. You can buy other uh, companies that have a full pack now with more weapons. Maybe scaled a little bit different. Some are scaled right, some are not. For, you know, the same price. So your choice. But again, lots of different weapons to choose from different manufacturers. All right, so there you have it. That is the Runner Gun Runners uh, 112th Set Series 1 or First Weapons. What can you say other than we have multiple manufacturers that are making real-style military weapons uh, for the G.I. Joe Classified, Valiverse, uh, or any other line that you might be getting into soon? Or if you, hey, you maybe just want to spruce up your Marvel Legends figures that you think need real world weapons uh they're not bad i don't think they're a bad price at all uh, i think they come in i think they come in price pretty well you're behind you know you're right in between a valiverse and a gridiron set but again four rifles one pistol a bunch of different rail accessories the one thing i will say you won't be going out into the woods uh with the accessories and not thinking you're going to lose them so there you go i will post a link in uh, in the description. All right, so there you have it. That's the Marauder Gun Runners 112 scale series one. It's a complete weapon setter, whatever they made. Again, I think they're good. Again, they fit a purpose if that's what you want. And you're going to get different weapons that you're normally not used to having in some of the other 
companies that I've seen. If you hear that whining, that is my dog Roman. If you don't know who Roman is, it's because you're not watching Monday Night Toy Ramblings. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. But hey, you know what? You stayed this long. Take a second. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified anytime I drop a G.I. Joe video or some other military style like Rudder Gun Runners or uh, yeah, whatever that other one is. Uh, Gridiron. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here, but don't go anywhere. Up here is the Mutton Junkyard Mac 10 set, the gun and grub. And here's going to be the playlist of something else. Probably gridiron. Take care.